Yes. Uh, starting off, Darren, uh, coming back home after being on the road for a week, um, playing against Greenville, a team that faced just under a month ago uh, in the round one of the Jägermeister Cup. Now it's in league play uh, in the regular season. Uh, what are you looking forward to in this match? Yeah, we know it's going to be feisty. You know, all of our matches with Greenville are feisty. Uh, I thought we played a really good game down there and didn't finish chances. You know, we had a penalty kick early that if we uh, we finished that, we'd get more points out of the game. So, you know, we're uh, we're so close. Like this last week, um, we created way more chances, took more shots again, uh, same as we did in that Greenville game. We just got to come around. And then coming off of that, the, the road match against Chattanooga, a, a game that the kicker statistically dominated, um, had some really good opportunities in the box, uh, racked up a bunch of XG. What are what are some positive takeaways from that game that you can then uh, plug into taking on Greenville this weekend? Yeah, you know, uh, the biggest thing is that if you're not creating chances and losing games, you have issues. Like, Because now it's like, man, I'm not winning games when I'm not in the positions to do it. We were in the position to win both the game at Greenville and the game against Chattanooga this last week. You know, not dissimilar to the semifinal two years ago. I mean, completely dominate the game, don't get the goals you need, and you get punished for it at the very end. So, you know, we, we have to continue to improve. We can't take plays off, but uh, uh, we're all very excited about today. And then training this week, how did everything go as the guys got ready for Saturday? Yeah, they've gone well. You know, Nathan Ani's back in full training. Tony Pineda's getting very close. I mean, Terzaghi's starting to train. Uh, that's exciting. You know, we're starting to get healthier. You know, we're still dinged up in a few spots. We're not quite there, but uh, guys train hard and are competitive, and, and you know, they want some points. To first to start off with, thoughts on a guy getting his first start uh, against Chattanooga there. How do you think he performed and whatnot? Yeah, Guy is a uh, is the player we went and found. You know, Connor Capaletti found him first, and then we went and scouted him. Uh, he's special. He's different. You know, he's got a good left foot. He's got a good vision. He's a smart soccer player. He's got good acumen, but he's also got a little bit of the nasty. And uh, this team needed a bit of that. So as he gets fit, you're going to see more and more. I know when I ask you a question, your face kind of lit up about it. What excites you so much about having him out there on the field? Yeah, you know, the Richmond kickers, we're not Lexington or Madison. We can't just go buy player after player after player, right? We have to go find players uh, that people don't know about. You know, we found him. Uh, you know, we were able to find Addy Billhart and get him back here. You know, we have to be very specific in the players that we can purchase. And, you know, it was unfortunate that he got hurt early in the in the preseason because we're all really excited about him. Uh, so, you know, I, we think the sky's the limit for that kid. Um, didn't get really good to talk about the Chattanooga game last week, but it's been a week since how do you keep the players from getting in their head especially like Arthur Boshua who had clear click chances didn't finish them but how do you keep players from getting in their head and kind of going into like a sand pit outside of not finishing a couple of looks on goal I thought Arthur had a very good game you know he was busy up front he pressed well he was connected uh, he held the ball up a little bit better for us than he has in the past so he's growing and finding himself it's one of those things with strikers scoring goals is difficult uh, he's got to score. He's got to find a goal. If he finds a goal, he'll relax and things will open up. So, you know, we've talked to him. We'll take a little pressure off him whether we play him tomorrow or not, and we'll see. With the injuries that have occurred for the kickers so far this year, and you guys are starting to look like you're coming on the other side of that, how is the embedding process of those guys that didn't start the season off of y'all? How are you embedding them and working them in, into the system? Yes, be honest, man. I mean, people can say whatever they want. I'm happy to take heat for us not always winning games. But Emiliano Terzaghi was a three-time MVP, three-time Golden Boot winner. You know, we're we were in a good position going into July last year, and they got hurt, didn't play the second out of the year. There's a direct relation to that, right? We don't have an equivalent for them, so we have to find ways of doing that. Nathan Ani, all-star defender last year did really well for most of the season. Both of those guys not starting the season for us isn't going to help us, right? Uh, so as they get healthy, it's only going to help. Tony Pineda was a really good ad for us. Keith Frank, a really good ad. As they get healthy, we get more competitive and we're a better team. Um, and Greenville's on the weekend. Is there any real difference between a League Cup game and, and, and a regular season game? Uh, Is there any way how you approach it differently? Yeah. Uh, we've given opportunity to guys in, in, in Jägermeister Cup games and you know, guys like Ryan Shello have performed so well that they get league games. You know, we're, we want to win everything. I love the Jägermeister Cup because it gives you a chance at another trophy, uh, and we want to win both. Um, and the beauty is the way that it's uh, set up this year, it's Saturday to Saturday. So uh, make no mistake, we're trying to win every game, uh, but we try to do it in different ways at times based on the competition. And this Greenville team is a little bit more offensively competent than in years past and really want to be on the front foot. In the last game, you did a great job of shutting that out and kind of limiting their chances. How are you looking to kind of replicate that here in City Stadium on Saturday? 
different than the past. They're a bit more wide open. Uh, they can be because Sebastian Velasquez and Herrera are USL Championship MLS level players that they bought. I mean, they're good players. You got Castro up front, who's also at that level, and Liam McKinnon, if I'm not mistaken, is leading the league in scoring right now. So they're, they have powerful individual players, and they're wide open, man. They're going for it. So we need structure. We need to make sure that we contain that wide open. We don't want this to be a track meet. We want to have structure in the game. And then, again, we know we'll create chances like we did in Chattanooga. We need to finish it. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Thank you, guys.